All right, John Roberts Marks is with me. Thanks so much for being with me. Um, so I love Young Life and what it does. I'm a faith-based person anyway. Um, but for those of us who've not heard about Young Life, tell me, what does your organization do for the community? Yeah, our whole mission statement is that we introduce adolescents to Christ and help them grow in their faith. So middle school, high school, and college is the group that we work with. Um, and we do so by empowering uh, adult mentors, basically some faith mentors who enter the life of students and build relationships with them. We're, we're focused on relationships because Jesus came down from heaven to have a relationship with us. And so we hope that we get to come alongside adolescents during a time of life that's really tough. Um, the, the students that we work with are, are growing out of childhood, but they are not yet adults. And that's a, that's a rough time. And so uh, research shows that if you've got enough adults around a kid as, as they go through this, this process of, of adolescence, the better their chances are are coming out the other side unscathed and with a good head on their shoulders. And so we do that and we do that within the context of friendship, of relationships. We go where kids are. We don't wait for them to come to us. Um, we build relationships with no strings attached because we genuinely care about young people and we want the best for them. And we also earn the right to tell them about who Jesus is and what a relationship with him uh, does in their life. As a matter of fact, we say like that is not all that life's about. That is what life is about. Jesus, a relationship with him is where life is found. Yeah, I mean, Jesus is your compass <laughs> in life. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you're participating in South Louisiana Giving Day, and I'm so excited you're supporting our event as well. You have such a great cause. Um, the funds that you receive, these donations that come to you through Giving Day, how will those benefit your organization? The funds that we raise go directly into the work that we do with students. They support our, our volunteer leaders, our faith mentors, as I said before, and the work that that we're doing. Um, you know, just because we are living in a time right now where we can't gather in large groups doesn't mean that we have stopped going where kids are. We, we've gotten creative. We've got uh, our leaders right now, uh, our volunteers, uh, our faith mentors, we're figuring out uh, a twist on all these birthday parades that are happening. Instead, we each get in our own car, social distance ourselves, uh, and we show up. Uh, at, at our students' houses, and we have a megaphone, and <laughs> as we roll up, we put a candy bar in the mailbox, and we call them out on the megaphone saying, hey, your friends are here, your Young Life friends are here, come out and say hello, and they come out uh, on the driveway, and we get to wave from afar, we get to have a little conversation, and I tell you what, like, that is doing our hearts some good, their hearts some good, there still needs to be some kind of personal interaction um, and that's what we do best in Young Life. We, we, we figure out how to get around the kids. We're not waiting for them to come up in our world. Um, and, and we've just gotten a little more creative during these uh, COVID-19 times, through these quarantine times, you know? Um, and I think it, it's, it sparked something in us. Um, I think it sparked something in our students. And when all this uh, is over, we are, 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 are still going to be there. We mm -hmm. know that our students right now more than ever need an adult to come alongside them. And we're trying to figure that out. And, and we're going to be ready when we can be physically in the same room as them ready to roll. Um, and I'm excited. I think our relationships will have deepened. And I think our students right now are, are more open to what does God have for me during this time? And, and what really does a relationship with him look like? And is that for me? And I think I think we've got people that are asking that question more and more. And so uh, we're excited in Young Life to get to be a part of that process with our students. You have such a beautiful mission. I love it. And so, folks, you can donate to Young Life during South Louisiana Giving Day on Thursday, May 7th, or you can schedule your gift today and they'll still receive credit on Thursday, May 7th. Go to the website at solagivingday.org. It takes less than 30 seconds to make a contribution and the minimum donation is $10 and it's tax deductible. So I hope you're moved to help Young Life. They're doing amazing work and good luck to you guys. I'm gonna be rooting for you and uh, we're gonna try to get some financial support coming in so you can continue the great work you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. And we really appreciate the work that the Community Foundation is doing this time. We, uh, it, it helps. We're, we definitely are all in it together.
Absolutely. Thank you.